good day friends it is me hl mod tech and we are back again with the pineapple twist marble run i showed you earlier that i bumped up the size so that it could handle marbles because i found a bag of them today i went back in and i modified it and my friends i'm ready to print test and see if we finally have something successful i can pop up on thingiverse or even make this design public so you can make it more awesome on your own so my friends let's get cracking so if you remember right this is our first design and this is called semi buttress threads i contacted a friend that i have at tinkercad and they got me the name because i could never read what was after this so all I did, my friends, was instead of staying with the default size of 20, I held down shift and I'll do control duplicate and I'll move that out. So control D is duplicate. And when I held shift, I could stretch it all so that it went past that size of 20. So it was more usable in my shape. And then of course I changed the thickness and the number of the twist to make it so it was more awesome. And then I went into the project and I simply added marble size spheres so that I could make sure that it was going to have enough room to land at this end and this end when it finished. This design I of course turned on transparent so I could see better what was happening. I could cut many more holes into this, I could have a lot more fun, but I think it is just time to test version 2 of our marble sized pineapple twist. So I am going to be printing this on the ET4X Let's load the file and see what kind of time we're looking at with this little bit larger project. All right, so there it is coming in. Auto slice. We're looking at three hours and seven minutes. Now, because this thing is pretty large, I'm going to switch from my normal skirt. I want to do raft. And then I'm going to make that raft eight millimeters wide. So it's got just a little bit more support as it's building all the way up. One fun thing you can do before you print is you can hit preview and when you check preview you can actually watch what's going to happen as this gets assembled. So you can see it builds all the way up and that is pretty fun. It's like the stairs just keep climbing as the project grows. And there'll be a hole on top and a hole on the bottom. This one we will have to pry off. If you zoom in really close I'm going to hold shift you also get to see the cool patterns of the different infill that you choose. Notice I use the X to get rid of this. If you ever want to check it, you can go through and adjust it as needed. I'm going to make this 20% infill just so it's a little stronger. And you'll see that now it totally adjusts that again for the infill to be right. All right, friends, I do want to remind you that the marbles get dropped in while the printer is working, which was really slick with this larger size project. There was plenty of time to drop the marbles in. I chose to drop two. You could drop whatever number you wanted, depending on how long you waited. It took it about 45 minutes to get high enough that I could drop the marbles in. But you do have to remember to do that. Otherwise, you just got a hollow egg with nothing inside. All right, so there, saved removable drive. Let's start it on the printer. Alrighty friends, so three hours later, we have got the pineapple fidget cube. Time to cool. I'll peel off the bottom. Alrighty friends, so it took three hours, but let's see what we get. Ooh, all the way to the bottom. And all the way to the bottom. Friends, I will put it on Thingiverse. And if you've got marbles and a willingness to print for three hours, I think that is pretty fun. Alrighty, friends, so there you have it. A working pineapple twist with marbles. I'm going to put this on Thingiverse. Of course, you can check the description for a link. I have also published this to Tinkercad as a public design. Remember, if you want to try and find that, what you do is you click up on this search and you type marble and we do pineapple and when you first search it probably will not show up so what you have to do is instead of sorted by likes go by latest and then you can see marble pineapple twist version 2 remember when you launch it you can help other people find this by hitting that like button
And of course, friends, we learned a lot by doing this. We learned how to make things transparent. We learned to try, try again. And in the end, we found a way to be successful. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.